this is a very quick visit back home. We're pretty much here to do a few doctors and dentist appointments, pick up the passports, which are here. That's super amazing, such a relief. And finalizing a few last projects. Corey's working on the locker door that's supposed to be going on deck in the boat because Let's be honest, it's way easier to work here when you've got all the space and you don't have to fume all of us in the boat because polyester resin stinks. It's terrible. It really smells bad. I was wondering why this lid was so heavy. It seems like there's nothing but waterlogged, punky wood inside the core of this lazarette. Probably not a good thing to have have moss coming out of the core. No core left in this, but it's amazing to me anyway. Like no core really, like that's just, just mush. But for a piece of no core, I mean, this is making all the noise, but like, I mean, you can see it flex, but it's still fairly solid. I'm, I'm impressed. less delaminated over in this corner or on this side. I don't think I'm going to be reusing this skin. Oh my. This is bad. Well, we knew it was bad. Woo! That's bad. Had some okay lamination here and here. The rest is just... <laughs> well, now the fun begins, scraping away what's left here. Some of it's coming up real easy. I'm wearing gloves too because the fiberglass gets quite itchy sometimes. But yeah, some of it's coming up easy. Uh, some of this stuff is going to be harder, so I might just uh, take this out and... that's a lot tougher. So I was gonna reuse this, but given the fact that it's delaminated in some spots, a new fresh lamination will be a lot better than reusing this. There we go, nice piece. So this is all half inch. So we'll replace it with some more balsa. Time to remove some of these screws. So as you can see, I've already removed some of these screws. There's quite a bit of epoxy down in some of these screw holes and I'm kind of damaging some of the, the holes a little bit more than I would have liked. But I have no choice to get the screws out because obviously the screws are going to get in my way when I or add new coring in. When it's just a little bit of epoxy, it's pretty easy to tear out. But when it's built up in there, I've made up myself a little chisel out of a nail. I didn't have any chisels the right size and I'm hoping that's gonna help me break up the epoxy a little bit and make it a little easier to not destroy all the wood around it because the woods uh, seen better days so it's chipping away a little easier than say new wood would. I'm afraid to drill them out because I think that'll break it up a little bit more. Easy way I mean you could you could just use a screw to pop these out but these are aren't, aren't too bad to pop out on mine because in general they're already protruding and they're pretty pretty far gone so that one comes out pretty easy with just a, a little punch but this part is the tricky part first off I don't have flathead screws which would be ideal I have these uh, Robertson and they're really hard to get the epoxy out I could see why I mean in Canada we use uh, a lot of these Robertson's but I could see why you would want flathead for this purpose ideally so anyway I like to try to break up a little bit of it with something like this or using my chisel with a hammer. So 
Sometimes it comes off in a nice piece like that. And I realize if you don't chip away most of this, you end up damaging the wood around it. So now I'm trying to chip away as much of it as possible. And then once I get down to here, sometimes it's easy and comes out just like that. And then I get it started with a hand tool just to make sure I'm not chipping away too much wood and switch to the drill. Now that I got all the screws taken out, it'll make it a lot easier to finish taking out the old core. I probably should have just taken out the screws to begin with, but I kind of was really curious about what the core looked like, so I decided to take a look, and it was actually fairly easy to get out for the most part with uh, a basic sort of, you know, chisel or something, some sort of scraper. Um, the hardest parts, of course, were where it was still somewhat laminated and uh, the, the core is in okay shape. I can't shove my finger right through it like I can over here. Easiest technique I found was just scraping away at it with a chisel. Trying not to damage the under layer and the corners here uh, where there's a gap of course I gave myself a bit of a lip to make my glass work a little easier because it's always harder to come up a radius so my plan here is to taper these edges and use them as where I'm gonna bond the old glass to the new glass it's make, gonna give me a little more work to clean out in between here now but I think it'll save me a lot of work later when actually glassing so that's the the plan for that so I'm gonna finish cleaning out this core, maybe even take a grinder to it later. We'll see how sweaty it gets, because if it gets too hot, I might not wanna get too much uh, glass all over me. I figured out a faster way to make those plugs, just keeping getting the drill press to be set to my set height and not drilling all the way through and having to remove the plug every time. So now I just got a bunch of planks of plugs and I'm producing them way faster. So I've gotten really close to my 2000 goal. I'm going to try to finish this thing up here before we go back to the boat in a couple days. So I gotta clean up my surface here, remove this, this little grommet meant for your fi your finger. Um, I'm gonna start by using this little sander with some sanding paper taped to the cutter. Actually, well, it's more of an oscillating tool. I'm gonna cut that off and I'm just gonna use that to get in between there. And then all of the rest of this, I'll just go at it with a grinder, just lightly to get down to some bare glass so I don't have all of this uh, uneven surface for the epoxy. Actually, not epoxy, I decided to get some polyester resin uh, for this job specifically because, well, it's above the waterline and I'm using chop strand because that's what I have. I have some biaxial, but it doesn't quite fit the project. I'd have to do it in pieces and I'd rather just do one, one or, well, a couple layers of chop strand. So I decided to go with polyester again, which I haven't used since like the very beginning, the very first project we ever did, which was our rudder repair, the very first fiber, fiberglass repair we've ever done, and that was done with uh, polyester. But since then, we've only used epoxy on everything, so it's gonna be interesting to go back to that and see if I still don't really like it as much. I, I always found mixing the catalyst to be a little bit touchy. Um, I found I either mixed it too hot or the very first time I didn't mix enough and the resin didn't kick off at all, which was terrible because then I had a mess to clean up. Everybody loves sanding, especially with a grinder that makes so much fiberglass dust. But anyway, I got rid of most of the inconsistencies. There was actually quite a bit of uh, dry glass that didn't get wet with resin with the initial layup when they did this 
when they built this. So I have to burn through some of that in a couple spots. And now I got this little tool with the proper sanding disc and it doesn't fit. Oh, look at that. Or at least I can get these corners that I wasn't able to get. But to get underneath, I think I have to use my original t idea with the tape. I'm also going to grind a taper uh, all the way along here. So when I lay my glass, I've got a nice lip to lay it on. That was the idea by, behind leaving this and giving me extra work by having to sand in there. It's the next day, the rain kind of slowed me down a little bit yesterday, but I did get most of the, in, the initial sanding that I wanted to get done, taper the side edge, and basically get rid of most of the high spots on where the core was. It looks fairly smooth now. So I don't know if you can see that, but it was thicker before and now it's been tapered down to quite a sharp edge so the idea is i can layer in two layers of or a few layers of glass and slowly taper it up so it makes less of a a distinguishable area of where i actually laid in the glass so i made up a cardboard template from my coring material that should give me a bit of a gap along the edges to put some thick in polyester resin on the inside but I think I'm gonna have to cut them in half. It's gonna kind of work I think. The problem is the pieces are gonna be thicker so I'm gonna have to even cut it up some more but it doesn't really matter too much because coring material, the balsa core that I, I got to replace the old rotten balsa was actually just uh, in chunks anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to use polyester resin between all of the gaps and try to seal it up best I can. Now to figure out how these pieces are gonna get cut, I'm trying to use the least, the least amount of balsa as possible so I can save it for another project. Looks like this is gonna work. So a slight issue that I realized in my ordering process, I actually ordered half inch balsa because I was under the impression, well, the 3 8 that was there existing on the old core, this is just the, the, the uh, top layer that I took off, or should I say the bottom layer. And um, yeah, so it's 3 8 thick, but my new core is a half inch. So, at one point I had decided I was just going to cut off that lip to fit in the half inch so I had a thicker laminate, um, ideally more stronger laminate because the core thickness actually makes a stronger laminate if you have a thicker core. So that was my plan was to go with a thicker core but then I forgot that I had decided that at one point and of course even without the cardboard it's now too thick because this is a half inch and my gap is three eighths. So my plan now is changed again. So here's my template that I had. Traced where the lip here, how far my core piece would fit underneath with the lip. So now I'll know roughly how much core needs to fit under there and how much core needs to be 3 8 So I'm gonna cut that off of my section here and shave it down from the opposite side because this side will be easier to shave down just with uh, a sander. See how that goes. So shave it down from a half inch to three eighths so that that piece, the trim all the way around here that goes under here will now fit under there. And then this top piece, I'm going to leave the, the, the insert here is all still gonna be half inch because I've got half inch, might as well use it. The lip here will have a little bit more glass and, and uh, filler basically to fill in the lip and there'll be a bit of a bump here but i'm really not concerned about that if it's going to be a stronger layup to be honest it would have been a heck of a lot easier to just get the right size core but now that i have this core i'm not going to wait weeks to for the next core to arrive because i only have the next couple days to get this done but it's coming along i've got all of this jammed in 
some of them are little pieces because sanding it is actually quite a pain. It kind of works with a little bit of a jig or just holding the piece against some sandpaper here and going like that. But really, it's a bit of a pain and the pieces keep breaking off and stuff and it really doesn't matter that much because it's all getting epoxied in. So I'm getting real sick of sanding it. Tried the knife, didn't really work so well. Kind of beats it up and it's hard to not tear it. So let's upgrade, let's see what this does. That's the way to do it. No more sanding. That was ridiculous. That worked way better. Beautiful. Still not quite thin enough. I didn't make my mark. I gotta go below my mark because my mark is above the glass. And I'm not doing that. I just wanted to do a trial. But yeah, shave off a little more and that should be beautiful. This stuff's gonna butt up to there. I'll do a nice lip with some polyester resin because that's what the project's going to be done with and chop strand. Pretty happy with it overall, actually. There's a bigger gap here than I would have liked. It's not a big deal. I'll just fill that all with thickened epoxy and maybe throw a little bit of chop strand in there. Now I got my glass over here, my chop strand. Um, it's quite thick. I couldn't. I can't tell you quite what it is. I'm gonna use at least two layers of this. To see how thick the layup looks. But I only need to be, you know, roughly that thick. It's not very. It's not a, a very thick layup and just looking at the glass thickness by itself, two layers is probably going to be thicker than that because it's fairly thick stuff. But we'll see. We'll see how it looks. Yeah. Okay, so normally I would try to tear this because it's chop strand and that way you don't get you know, a solid line when you go to lay the glass down. But because this is such thick chop strand, I'm going to actually have to cut it. That must have been why I, I cut it last time. I, I, I remember cutting it and I was like, why didn't I just tear it? Because normally that's what I do with chop strand. This seems to be kind of working. Then I can tear it a little bit. Just need to score it lightly. Tu fais tu ton alphabet? A, B. C, D, F, C, 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 C,